Hi, my name is Evan Archella, and I'd like to show you a few tips to help you be on time and share with Outlook Live, part of Microsoft Live at EDU. Let's take a look at calendar sharing and meetings. Here's our Outlook Live calendar. In an earlier screencast, I created a new homework calendar, and by checking the box on the left-hand side, I can view it side-by-side -side with my personal calendar. If I'd like to share this homework calendar out with my students so that they can add it to their Outlook Live and keep track of these different homework assignments, I'll simply come to the top, click Share, click Share a Calendar, and then click Homework. This will open a sharing request. In the to line, I'll put in the names of my students and go ahead and send this out. Now, before I do, you'll notice we can share information, all information, or I can give people permission to add, edit, and delete on this calendar. For now, I'm just going to leave it with the information without the editing privileges. Go ahead and send that calendar sharing request. Now my students will receive an email where they can add this calendar to their Outlook Live and we can do the same thing with a personal calendar. Let me uncheck the homework calendar, go back up to share, share a calendar. I'm going to share my personal calendar which you'll notice here is just called calendar. When I do this it also opens up a sharing request. Let's put Sanjay in the two line as well as Bob and Lisa and this time it gives me an additional option. I want to request permission to view the recipients calendar folder. When you're sharing your personal calendar you have this additional option so that if I check this box not only will they receive the request that they've been added to my calendar but they can add me to their calendar from the same request and it really helps to automate the process of making this information visible to each other. I'll go ahead and click send and we'll send that out to Sanjay. Now once he accepts that I can come back in here click share open a shared calendar I'll put Sanjay's name here and click OK. That will open his calendar again it's side by side my own you'll see it over here underneath people calendars so I can simply check or uncheck this based on when I want to look at his calendar. Now let's say Sanjay and I are fellow students. We'd like to get together and have a study group. Well I can go over here and find an open block of time that works for us. Simply double click it on my calendar. Go ahead and put in the subject, a study group. We're going to meet in room 100 and uh, go over here to the scheduling assistant. I'm going to put in Sanjay's name and you'll notice I can see his availability here and I can also put in room 100 and we can manage that as a resource so we can make sure that that room is in fact free at the same time that we want to get together and study. Go ahead and click send and I've sent that request. Now Sanjay can accept the request, he can decline it, he can mark it tentative. You can also use a meeting request for things like parent-teacher conferences, uh, maybe some student reviews that you're having. There's a number of uses for that capability. Go ahead and uncheck Sanjay's calendar. You can see I'm just back to my regular Outlook Live calendar. And let me show you a few resources that you can use to help get used to and learn how to navigate this new technology. We'll have other screencasts to walk you through some other areas of Outlook Live, and I look forward to having you on those screencasts.